All right, so I just booted up Kali Linux and we're going to go through a couple of steps to make a reverse SSH and set up Kali for the first time. Well, we actually set up Kali, um, but we're going to go through it doing some examples to get you started for the first time using it. All right, let's go. All right, so when you start, I believe your pass your username is root and password is tour. So I'm going to go through and show you how to change your passwords and do your reverse SSH. I'm going to do as many examples as possible uh, before my little ones wake up. They're taking a nap. So I have very limited time, as you all know, with the, that have kids. All right, let's go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, you can see Kali is up and running. This is my um, Raspberry Pi. This is it with the case on. See the HDMI and the power going out. Um, so this is it, and that's Kali running. So the first thing you need to do is change your password. So I'm going to go through and show you how to do that. And basically, it's just like running Kali on any system when you first set it up. You want to do some of these things, but you can see here, I go and open my terminal. The terminal is down here. You know, and the other Kali is up top. But um, the first thing you want to do is type in um, password, I believe. All right. So it says enter new password so I'm going to put in a new one and enter now I am retyping it and it says password updated successfully so now what you want to do you can also turn it off and turn it back on and uh, make sure that it uses your new password but I just wanted to uh, say that right quick and show you that because you definitely want to do that because everybody knows the password starts out as root and I mean the username is root and password is tour all right all right so right here you can see it's asking to go to my um, Wi-Fi network and you can see up here this is where you can see whether your connection is um, see if you're connected or not um, and there's a Wi-Fi that's that comes with the Raspberry Pi 3, um, the version that I have, and I also have a um, Wi-Fi adapter connected. And I think I showed it to you last time, but this is it. You can see the green light is blinking. So here I am. But I am actually going to connect to my home Wi-Fi using the one that came with um, the system. And I will eventually use the adapter to connect and do Wi-Fi testing. So since that came up, I just thought I'd bring that up. All right. So the next thing you want to do um, is issue the StartX command. Um, your screen may go blank for a second, but no worries. That's what it does. All right. This is normal. When your X Windows GUI desktop loads, it will ask you whether you, you like to use a default workspace or a blank one, select the, the default workspace. All right. So anyway, let's just keep it moving. I got a very limited amount of time. So, all right, and you can see here, it's talking about default settings and all of that. Uh, so just stay with your default settings. So the first thing you wanna do, well, the next thing you wanna do after you've changed your password and done your start X, is you want to use the app-get update command. This will update your Kali Linux. Uh, and you need to be connected to the internet in order to do that. Right? And now once you've done that, what you want to do is app dash get and upgrade. Right? Okay? That's what you always have to do. Then you want to enter the sync command twice and then reboot. Okay? So well, let me show you just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Let me just you enter the sync command. Oops, sync command, sync command, and reboot. 
So this is what you want to do when you first get your Kali Linux up and running on your Raspberry Pi 3 device. All right, so we'll go, we will go to the uh, next step. And while I'm here, I guess I can test my um, password to make sure I actually updated my password. All right, let's put in the new password. Looks like it worked. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So the next thing you want to do is to connect to, well, not necessarily connect, but you want to install your programs. All right. So let me show you what it looks like. Uh, first, when you're running the Kali Linux ARM, you have way, you don't have as many programs. You see, it's only like three. But if you run regular Kali, you have a ton of programs. You can see here in vulnerability analysis, there's only NMAP, SQL map. All right, so when you, um, and it's the same with all of these. So I've actually installed Kismet and Aircrack and Wireshark. So let me show you how to go ahead and install because it's very bare bones. So come down to your terminal again click on it and you, you're going to say apt oops sorry about that hold on this is a live demo and I don't have time to edit so this is live. you're gonna say install and kismet or whatever program you want to install there are a ton of them that's your homework to figure out what you want to install if you uh, do normal pen tests then you know which program you want to install I like kismet so let's say out get install Kismet, right? So now, um, also, uh, while I'm here, you want to make sure that your wireless is connected if you're gonna use something like Kismet. You run your if config, so you can see here that I actually have my WLAN 1 running, WLAN 0 running. This is the, um, the Wi-Fi that came with the Raspberry Pi 3, and this is the Alpha card, this one. All right, so let's go ahead and um, Aramon bash ng start WLAN 1. All right, you wanna do that so you can put it into monitor mode. So let's see, all right, so there you go. Right here you can see WLAN one M O N right there. So it's in monitor mode. That's very important. So uh, when your system is in monitor mode, your um, that particular Wi-Fi device, then you're monitoring what's going on around you. So let's look at some of my. Um, I have a ton of Wi-Fi's um, in my vicinity. Well, in my house. So that I test. These are all the ones that I'm testing. So I run that last command, um, arrow dump dash ng, and now all of my Wi Fi's are coming up. Now this is running coming from here, all right? And you can see all of my different Wi Fi's, and I'll do a tutorial about what all of this means later. But you can see it's cool. This is my Raspberry Pi, and it's running, and I'm actually running an air crack um, application. All right, so I'm gonna control C out of that. Uh, let me run my Kismet so I can see what it's looking like, see if it's actually running. Um, close the console, looks like it's connecting. Yes. And now the interface is going to be WLAN 1 MON. Remember, that's a uh, WLAN is in monitor mode. So with this version of Kali, um, WLAN 1 MON. And if it was WLAN 0, it would be WLAN 0 MON. So looks like it is connecting, yep. All right, so now let's take a look. And those of you that are familiar with um, Kismet and Wire, Shark, and Cracking, um, Wi-Fi's and things of that nature, sniffing, 
you will recognize what's going on. But it's cool because it's running from this little bitty device, right? I can take this with me anywhere. And you may not have a big screen like this, but here's my little screen that you can use if you just want to uh, have a screen with you and you don't have a monitor with you. All right, so that's pretty cool, right? I think it's cool. All right, so let's uh, go through and do a couple more examples. I am going to go ahead and stop this. Shut that down. I shut that down already and I'm going to close this out. All right, so that's those are examples of using um, your wireless devices to do like Wi-Fi um, or doing air crack in, in Kismet or air crack, a couple of air crack commands and using Kismet very shortly, but I'll do demos on that separately.